Good morning! Good morning guys! It's 9.15 in the morning. At wala akong nakikitang tao dito. <laughs> parang... Parang feeling ko parang iniwanan ako na lahat. Yung pakirandong mo parang February, na wala kang ano... Wala kang ka-Valentines. <laughs> Ganun yung pakirandong dito ngayon. Wala kang kasama. <laughs> anyway guys, good morning! Kumusta po kayo lahat? Ngayon ay araw ng Martes. So tonight guys, I'll be with uh, the owner of BBF. Ayan, I think I shared one of their posts. Meron po silang choros. So I'll be with her tonight sa kanilang restaurant for a live streaming video. Just to give you guys a little information about the owner of BBF restaurant. Yung nakashare po dyan sa Facebook ko. Yung Tuesday at BBF Multi Cuisine. So, yung owner po actually is one of my idol. It's because, uh, paano ba to? She's a Filipina but she's actually now a Canadian national. O, oh, kasi parang ano na siya, uh, doon na siya, okay? And, ang dami niyang ginagawa sa buhay but despite of her age and busy life, talagang super active pa rin siya sa, ano, sa sports. I mean, she's been running and joining different marathons. Kasi parang marathoner silang mag-asawa. So nakakatuwa no na na talagang dapat even though as you grow older, dapat you grow wiser, di ba? To enjoy life more. Hindi yung tipong isipin mo na lang yung pagtanda. <laughs> But she's a life coach. Okay? She's an a, she's an author. I know she has a book, okay? And she is actually collaborated or co- ang co-writer niya is si John Maxwell. Isa sa mga kilalang mga author ng mga magagaling na mga leadership, mga books, and positivity books, something ganon. So, watch out for that live streaming tonight, guys. So, I'll be visiting her restaurant tonight then, and we'll do the live uh, streaming via Facebook. I think sharing about parang buhay sa Dubai live and, and high five live, parang ganon together. Okay, so I would just like to update you guys, no? especially sa mga nag-aabang sa aking mga followers ko of, of what are the services we are offering here guys at MPQ Tourism. You know guys, especially po, this is actually a special request coming from my my followers na marami po talaga nagre-request ng A to A service. Okay, that's airport to air, airport service. So that's our going to discuss or to explain later para po sa inyong lahat guys. But now, it just pop up. Okay, Life Coach Clarissa Kalingasan just commented. Sabi niya, see you later. Zuni Franco, Sir Sano, you are not, you are one of the best. Thank you so much. Alam niyo ba guys, today also is the inauguration day of Jollibee Alphala. But unfortunately, I cannot come. Oo, kasi, um, paano ba to? I really, of course. Batang Jollibee po ako. It means I, I work in Jollibee for how many years in the Philippines. And I've been doing vlogs of some grand openings of Jollibee UAE branches. And just that may mga responsibilities ako that I have to prioritize. Um, siguro one day I will visit, definitely I will visit Jollibee Alphala sa Abu Dhabi. Ayun, um, so, akala ko kasi scheduled siya ng Feb 8. Then suddenly, to last night, I received a message from the marketing head or marketing associate or manager or something like that. Na they are actually in, informing me that today at 2 p.m. is the inauguration day of Jollibee. Kaya sa lahat ng mga kababayan po natin dyan sa Abu Dhabi, malapit po sa Alphala, tama ba? Today guys is the inauguration day. So it means tomorrow is the grand opening day of Jollibee Abu Dhabi. Kaya pumunta po kayo dyan at balikan nyo guys ang sarap na nakasanayin natin. Okay, ako kasi, I'm always, I'm just excited sana for the Jollibee Alphala Abu Dhabi opening. It's because, of course, I will have a chance to meet my mga followers ako dyan sa Abu Dhabi. Now, for so many years, guys, they've been watching my videos, following me in all of my activities dito sa Dubai. But we never got a chance talaga na magkita at all. So that's the reason why I'm very excited. Pero don't worry guys, I will be there on Jan on, on February 
Okay, nandyan po ako sa Abu Dhabi for a private event, parang isa semi-star ball event uh, with some of famous Filipinos na mga friends ko dito sa Dubai. Papunta po kami dyan. And I believe on the 24th, on daytime, I will request, okay, from Jollibee, Jollibee Alphala, of course. Tama ba, Jollibee Alphala? Lagi kasi ako nagja-Jollibee, Jollibee Alphala. I don't know if that's true, uh, correct or not. Uh -huh. I think, I believe I am, am right. Sana, sana tama ako. <laughs> or else, problem to. Oh, basta guys, Jollibee Alphala, that's what I know. So, I am requesting to Jollibee uh, Alpala that I will be there. Hi, Nicolo! How are you? I just saw the Illustrado Go uh, feature. Nakakatawa naman that I saw Nina and her husband is the cover. Kaya, hello, hello, of course, to Illustrado. And again, Nicolo, thank you so much, of course, for, for what do you call this? For the chance, guys. You know what? I still have the copy of of this. <laughs> you know, this is like one of my medals bilang isang vlogger. Kaya, thanks. Oh okay, yeah, so let's move on to our topic. Yung nga po that I might going to request from Jollibee UAE na i-move na lang yung vlog ko on Feb 24. Sana payagan nila ko because I'm going to invite some of... Uh, Filipino food bloggers from Dubai, Abu Dhabi then on that date. So parang it's a joint force of UA, of Dubai and Abu Dhabi food bloggers and bloggers na willing and free on that date na isama ko sila for a special food vlog. Kaya yun, so now we're going to read some of the messages. Medyo madami na pala, medyo nagulat ako dun. Okay, so hello muna kay Elin Labres, of course, to Fi... Oh, sorry. To PJ... Kansiran Balamban, morning sir, how are you? Happy Valentine's, Sir June! Guys, huwag natin pag-usapan yan. <laughs> Hindi yun, know, bitter. No guys, I have a special vlog for that. Soon, abangan niyo po yan, yung mga kakaibang Valentine's celebration ng mga OFW. And also, sabi ni Lady Lolit Castillo, good morning, Sir June. Taba ka na, Sir June? Oo. Lalo na guys, po nakita niyo talaga na nag-side view ako. <laughs> Asa na yung buwan? Okay. Ako guys, ako yung taong tumaba na, na masaya. It's because, siguro, this is my dream job kasi that I'm working now on daytime. If you are guys my follower from my old, old, old videos pa, to my past companies, mostly talaga I'm working on a graveyard shift. Kaya laging pang gabi. So, yung napaka-irregular nung sleeping time ko, parang I, I sleep 2 hours, gising ulit, tapos ganyan na. But now, Daytime kasi gising ako maaga, then work, then tulog sa gabi. So, iba pa rin po talaga yung benefit of sleeping sa gabi. Okay? And, Tita Abet, hello! Sabi niya, hi, Juni! Good morning also to Jam Jam Suturb Umat. And also, Karen Argusino! Hi, Karen! How are you? You know, last night, I am re-watching again some of our vlogs from Armenia and I saw some comments there of Armenian people that they are really so proud of their country and they are very thankful that we visited their country. So nakakatawa no, that even online, they are very hospitable pa rin and very respectful. So one of the best country I've ever visited talaga is Armenia. Hello kay Ate Doris and Ann Sanchez Fulyuna. Taga saan po kayo sir sa Philippines? I am from... Okay, that's a very hard question. Paano ba to? Uh, help me guys. Both of my parents are from Iloilo. But I was born at lumaki ako from Mindanao. Pero ngayon, nasa Iloilo na ulit ang parents ko. Pero yung mga address ko in some of my documents is sa Pasig because doon ako tumagal at tumanda. And then now, nasa Dubai ako. So, taga saan ako sa Pilipinas? <laughs> That's the hardest question na laging binabato sa akin. Pero I think the answer is, of course, if where is my parents, di ba ngayon? So, I'm from Iloilo. And I'm proud Ilonggo. <laughs> Ilonggo, kaya 
Okay, sabi naman ni Josephine Silencio, sabi yung morning sir, Juni breakfast time from Qatar. One hour pala, nauna pala yung time sa Dubai. God bless. Yes, that's what I know. Even Kuwait, we are one hour ahead. Parang 12 midnight na dito, alas 11 pala ng gabi sa, sa, sa Kuwait. Happy New Tuesday! We choose our days just like to choose touching lives here in Dubai. Juni Franco, sir, sana keep on going. Galing! And again, hello kay Rose Manilin Saikon. Hello kay Juni from Abu Dhabi. And Nicolo, so you're proud of you, Juni. More power to you. Thank you. You know, Nicolo, I, I'm going to introduce you some of the good blogger na nakilala ko. And I think she's very, very interested to be one of your contributors talaga sa mga magazine niyo. She's been doing a lot of, of content writing in some websites. She's part of a newly opened or reopened or re-management na, na company. So, I will just message you later and give you her number and some of the links na mga ginagawa niya. Okay? Kaya yun. And MJ Sakayanan, sabi niya, Hi, Juni. Ayun, so, let's move on, guys, to our topic na pinag-uusapan. Na, ano ba yung pinag-uusapan natin? A to A service po. Okay? So, what is, guys, the difference? Para, para ako madilim. O, oh, feeling ko lang. Oh, anyway, yun. Ulay. Okay, okay. Pwede na ba yan? Parang madilim. Okay, guys, so let's move on to the A to A service. Ito po yung madalas sa akin tinatanong ng mga followers ko na hindi nila naiintindihan ang ibig sabihin ng A to A. A to A, guys, means airport to airport. Ang pag exit okay? Sino po yung mga nag exit Sila po yung mga kababayan po natin dito sa UAE na mapapaso na po ang kanilang existing visa. So, sino po yung mga nag exit Sila yung mga naka-visit visa holder or tourist visa holder. For as long hindi sila residence visa holder, they need to exit, okay? And there are a lot of ways ng pag exit Meron po yung tinatawag nilang normal exit. Ibig sabihin, you're going out of UAE, pupunta ka to any country, okay? Pero ang isa sa mga common na pinupuntahan ngayon ng mga tao are Oman. Oman is by land, okay, kasi meron pong bus and it's a little affordable compared to other way ng mga pag exit So, by Oman po is you have to go out of UAE by land, dadaan kayo sa border, and you have to stay there sa, mga, sa hotel, and you have to wait for your tourist visa to be processed. But then, once it's approved at nasa inyo na, pwede na kayo bumalik ulit sa Dubai for another uh, tourist visa uh, para sa'yo. Okay, and another one is by air. Yun nga po, one of the common ones are, of course, Armenia. Kasi people are, of course, choosing to exit in Armenia because of a winter season na meron dyan ngayon. So, some are also traveling to like Sri Lanka or some are even like going home in the Philippines. So, basta anything po that you need to just at least mas tampan kayo of that you go get out of UAE. Yun yung way na sinasabi lang you need to exit. The purpose for that, guys, is of course, we are just allowed, you are just allowed to stay in UAE as a tourist visa or a visit visa based on the visa na hawak mo. Na, diba, we have 30 days and we have 90 days. So, kapag 90 days na, it means you need to get out of UAE. Kasi hindi ka na, hindi na valid yung stay mo. Okay? So, sana po maliwanag yun. And now, let's move on to our topic na A to A. Teka lang, I have to play this. Para makikita ko yung comments. Okay. So guys, yung A to A po, it means there are two ways why people are doing this. Okay, number one, especially to those who have applied to a work at na-hire na sila, tapos ngayon, lumabas na ang employment visa nila. So, by law, it is not allowed, guys, for you to work under visit visa or a tourist visa. Kailangan naka-employment visa ka. So, that's the reason why you need to exit at babalik ka na not as a tourist visa or a visit visa but an employment visa holder ka na. Okay? So, by that, sana, that's the only time sana lang na pwede ka magtrabaho. Or, there are some other companies, guys, na ginagawa to but not everyone, ha? 
there are other some companies that they are paying for the penalty. Parang, uh, ano bang tamang term doon? Uh, amnest, not amnesty. Uh, basta guys, parang some companies are paying for the penalty na hindi ka na mag exit Parang internal na lang. May babayaran sila for the... Hindi amnesty. <laughs> That's not amnesty. Basta doon sa pagpapalit from tourist to employment. So may penalty doon. Kasi ang rule talaga is you need to exit and go back as employment visa. Kasi I remember in my two of my previous companies, I never experienced na mag-exit ako. They hired me and processed everything dito habang nasa Dubai ako. So yon okay, ba't bihira po yung mga kumpanyang gumagawa nun? But the normal talaga is you need to exit. Now guys, so yun nga, yung one example of the A to A is yun nga na while you are here still here in Dubai and then your company process your employment visa at lumabas na siya. So now, you need to get out of UAE na dala mo na yung employment visa mo. So ibig sabihin, exit ka. For example, mostly pumupunta ang mga, exit, ang mga ganitong klaseng A to A sa Moscat Oman or sa Bahrain. Sorry. So, or sa Bahrain. So, exit ka, tapos magdating mo dun sa airport, sa, let's say, sa Moscat Oman, ikot ka lang from, from arrival, punta ka ng departure, going back to Dubai na. Kasi pagdating mo dito, ang visa mo na ay employment. Okay? So, that's number one. And second way, guys, kung bakit ginagawa ang a to a is because, for example, you are under tourist visa and you wanted to extend your stay, but unfortunately kasi hindi na pwede gawin siya internal. So, you really need to go out again of UAE. So, there are some travel agencies like us na we are offering the a to a Ibig sabihin, but this one, guys, is a little expensive compared to the normal ones. Kasi, like sa amin, uh, yung visa processing po namin is just two to three working days. So, maari po that upon including noon, maari siyang ma-approve the next day. Up to three days. Okay? Kapag walang mga problema sa immigration, walang need more documents or something ganon, in just two to three days, lumalabas po talaga ang tourist visa. Okay? But for A to A, this is different. Parang ibig sabihin, we guarantee okay, that upon exit mo, it's been processed and just a couple of hours, maaari siyang lumabas. Okay. Pero guys, ito yung a, a little FYI sa lahat. Now, there is no promise na in just one hour, lalabas siya. Of course, kasi we have to wait for the result ng processing. So, Maximum siguro guys, ito yung pinaka worst na. Maximum is just next day, lalabas siya. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung real scenarios. You go out of UAE and fly to Moscat. And then once you reach Moscat, wait for the travel agency to send you your, the approved visa copy of your tourist visa going back to Dubai. So, it can be just one hour, two hours, three hours, or... Ang worst, may mga cost na may mga delays kasi yan sometimes, although bihira namang mangyari, is maybe you will stay there less than 24 hours. And of course, you are allowed to stay up to 48 hours naman sa mga airport. Eh. But based on our experience, so far, nakakabalik naman sila ng wala pang 24 hours. And that's important. Okay, who are going to benefit guys yung mga ganitong classing services ng mga travel agencies or ng benefit sa mga gitong services na ino-offer ng MPQ. This is for those who are in a little tight in budget. Kasi po, yes, it's a little expensive, pero hindi naman ganun kalaki yung, exp yung, yung, yung difference compared to the normal. Kasi, ang, ang advantage lang of this is especially those who are nagmamadali na talaga. Kunyari, your company are really in need of you to report and work kasi parang you have kailangan ka ng kumpanya so hindi sila they cannot afford to lo to to lose you for like 5 days so the company e, are going to request na mag A to A ka na lang para pagdating mo doon within the day makakabalik ka rin and you can go back to work the next day okay that's number 1 second is ha example guys minsan 
lalo na yung may involved na na may mga week, weekends na we know that during weekends eh wala pang immigration to to continue process yung application mo for your visa kaya ginagawa nila to save the time mag a to a na lang sila and another one is because yun nga tight ka talaga sa budget kung magkakapos ka sa budget kasi po if you do the normal exit kasi of course you have to to go out of UAE you have to pay for your hotel or hostel of course kakain ka dyan di ba ng agahan tanghalian hapunan not unless kung medyo marunong ka makipag friend friend at may talent ka sa pagluluto di ba minsan nakakalibre yung mga cook eh, sa mga nag-exit o sige pre ako na bahala dyan ako na mag grocery ganyan ganyan so siya na magluluto for everyone so nakatipid siya So yun naman yung mga bagay guys na nakakatawa sa pag exit And I think that will be the next topic na pag-uusapan natin tomorrow guys sa yung buhay na pag exit Yung good and bad uh, ito, situations or scenarios sa mga buhay na mga nag exit Okay so sabi po ni Rose Manilin Saikon bukas na po opening ng Jollibee dito sa Abu Dhabi sa May Alpha La. Yes, yun. So tama ako. Doris Durante, thank you. More power soon in God bless. And who else? Uh, uh, parang nabasa ko na lahat ng comments. Ayun. So anyway guys, that's all for this morning. Kaya if if I have a new message as well, let's see. Ayun, nagpabago pala talaga siya, kaya pala yun. Okay, sabi naman ni Juve Annie Calyora, for visit visa, is it fine to have work in the Philippines? Considering you have all documents they need. For visit visa, is it fine to have work in the Philippines? Of course! Okay guys, ganito pa, I'll explain that. Um, visit visa guys means you are going to just visit Dubai. Normally yung term na visit visa is for those who has family. Actually guys, ang, ang totoo niyan... Ang itsura po ng visit visa and tourist visa is iisa lang. Okay, I'll give you an example. Let's just hide the name. So, ganito lang po ang itsura noon. And pare-pareho lang po lang po yung nakasulat dyan na tourist, single, short, or or long term. Okay? So, hindi mo talaga makikita dun sa papel na talagang visit visa ang nakasulat. It's not like that. Okay? Yung terminology lang kasi na visit visa, meaning, meaning you're going to visit a relative in UAE. Yung tourist visa naman na terminology, is, it means you are going to travel in UAE as a tourist. So, ang difference po nun, guys, is ganito. Tourista ka, you don't know anything, you have no contact sa something ganon, parang nandun ka to enjoy. Buhay tourista. Experience mo yung buhay dito, yung food, yung tourist attractions and all. Yun yung difference ng tourist visa. Ang visit visa naman is yung nga may bibisitahin kang kapatid mo dito, yung nanay mo, yung may kasal kang aatin na nakamag-anak, yung tipong ganun, yung terminology lang po yun. Okay? And if you have work in the Philippines, of course, for as long as you naka-live, uh, sorry, naka-live ka naman, di ba? So of course, you can you can come here as as tourist or or visit visa. Kaya walang problema doon. Okay? Eric Taliedo, good morning. Keep it up, dear regards. Hi Eric, I'm looking forward for your design. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> okay guys, kasi Eric Taliedo is one of my good friend that happens to be one of the magaling na mga designer po dito sa sa Dubai. Kaya guys, uh, he's been like dinadamitan niya yung yung uh, Pinay Beauty contestants. Uh, who else? Uh, yung Sinulog Festival contestants. Talagang kilala siya ng mga Pilipino dito. Kaya if you guys wanted to like have your uh, your clothes, yung yung pang dress nyo, eh, kailangan nyo pang kontakin si Eric Taliedo. Just check out guys his name in the comment box for some inquiries and some quotations at kung hingi kayo ng sample niya. <laughs> Kaya Eric, I think I have to share your Facebook page, right? Okay, thanks. You're the best. Sabi ni Juve Annie Calyora. And sabi naman ni Nanay Ling, just... Get up, buti nakahabol po sa live mo, sir. Good morning to to husband, tatay, junior. And thanks you there for promoting, of course. I'm excited to wear one of your designs. 
uh, this coming February 23. <laughs> okay guys, ito, abangan nyo po guys. No? Before I say goodbye, again, I would like to say thank you so much of course to all of my followers, not only just here in UAE, but to all of my followers from Middle East, sa US and Asia. Thank you so much guys. And abangan nyo po yung radio program ko po. Um, we are on the editing now of yung voice, intro voice, and kung ano-ano pa. So, it will be fun. Masaya po yun para maririnig nyo po yung mga more of ganito. We'll be doing this thing for two hours. Okay? So, Laila de la Cruz, Ohio, Sir Juni still at the office watching you with office mate. Hello to all the staff of Sales Rain, Makati. Magandang magandang umaga or hapon na pa sa inyo dyan ngayon. Good afternoon. Hope magkita tayo sa Wawa Win and Jam Morales show. Is that Jam Morales on Friday, no? I think I can't. Kasi I'll be with Mikey Bustos Friday. Ayan. Okay, so I think that's all for now, guys. Kasi I have to work. Okay? Kaya maraming maraming salamat. Kaya guys, to all of my viewers na may mga inquiries, guys, of you wanted to bring your family here in Dubai. Okay, if you need some visa assistance, if you have some inquiries about mga rate na mga tours or travels nyo, I am here guys, Juni Franco Sorsano, the travel advisor of MPK Tourism. So wag po kayo mahiya, okay? Bye and God bless everyone!